Good evening. My name is Roy. Um, when thinking about research, most of, that, of us cannot escape the, perception, the perceptional barrier that seems to exist between research, and specifically basic science, and treating patients. Now, we don't believe in this barrier. And so the aim for us in research is to explore the molecular aspects of gynecological cancers uh, in order to find new applications and new treatment modalities for our patients. Um, in order to explain what we do, try to think or imagine our DNA or genome as an old recipe book that includes many recipes, thousands of recipes, that are being used for years by many chefs. Now, naturally, this old book and these old recipes contains a lot of errors, mistakes, deletions that may lead to results or consequences. Most of these changes and most of these recipes are not being translated, so no one notices. But there's two options. One is that a chef comes and he wants to cook a recipe, and instead of flour, it says flour. So the chef is very gifted. He's noticing this, this mistake. He's correcting it so that we don't have a change in the ingredients for the recipe. And so the cake eventually comes out perfect. Another option is when the chef doesn't notice that there is a mistake in the recipe. And for example, instead of sugar, we have salt. So this affects our ingredients list, and we have a disaster. So this is basically what we do. Only our recipe is DNA. And we have uh, quite a lot of publications in this field, and due to the short time that we have, I will not go through all of them. But let me take you through our current project, a relatively big one, ovarian cancer related, in which we basically we go backwards. We take a tumor biopsy, we have a tumor bank, which is much like a piece of cake, and we try to dissemble this piece of cake, a piece of tumor, and through molecular methods, such as next generation sequencing and so on, we try to find the specific recipe that led to this specific tumor. And we try to look for the errors in this recipe. Now the next step is to go and search for the list of ingredients to see which errors eventually ended up changing our list of ingredients. And having the clinical database of our patients, and also the DNA and RNA database, when we combine them and we do an analysis, we hope to gain knowledge that will eventually help us to identify patients that are at risk for cancer, specific cancers, help us better understand the course of the disease so that we can explain to our patients according to their genetic basis what's the course of the disease, and ultimately, maybe, find specific targeted therapies that may eventually help our patients. Thank you very much.